Hey everyone, it's Gab. I stream on Twitch. You can find all the relevant links down below and I hope you all enjoy the video. They're mulliganing a pretty decent hand. Did we play against a scam the other day? I think we played against scam and beat it, right? I must say. That makes me want to buy four one rings that bad. If you're a modern player, buying four one rings probably not a bad thing. Plus, I think if if a card's likely to be banned in modern, it'd be Bowmaster before one ring, which would make one ring even better. Ooh, I was wondering about burn. Oh, it's not burn. Is it like Convoke in Modern? Well, good thing I added that one Brotherhood Zen in my sideboards. Okay. Just gonna do Mountain Ragavan. That is gonna cost me some life, and then next turn, there's just not much I can do. I guess I could attack, get a treasure, turn that treasure into a 4 4. That card's not a. That card, I don't think that card's Pioneer Legal, or else the deck would be kind of busted, I guess. Could add two of these two of these cards. I wonder if it's worth it to play Ragavan. Like, oof, what interaction do I even have in my deck? I have a bunch of shocks. I just play that, play Ragavan to trade with one of their tokens next turn. They did Mulligan so they could stumble. They could only have Bloxodon and not Ranger Captain of Eos. <clears throat> nope. They have it. Prediction round one win when I'm dead on board round one. That's going to be an interesting run. They got two cards off it. Hollow Hopper and Mem Knight. So they can go Memnite Hollow Hopper. Losing to one of uh, Spike's uh, many brews. Okay, bolts. If I can go. If I go Ragavan Bolt, I can go Island and make this a thingy. Also, if they attack with everything, I can just like not block with Ragavan and then play a one ring next turn. I think this is modern. I don't think my cards are legal in Pioneer, so. Hmm. That is. Wow, that is a problem. It's not the end of the world. Oh, kill Hollow Hooker. I take it. My last card in the hand is a land. I attack this Ragavan. Okay. I think I just I, think I just paid a tax, right? I'm not sure which one I'm supposed to use or if it ever makes a difference. Oh, what's the combo? Rise and Shine first is better in case I want to double down on the same artifact. But against a bunch of 1-1s, one it doesn't seem like I'm ever going to want to double down. I'm guessing there's a reason to play one or the other. No. Okay, giving them two cards is so scary, but they do have lots of low impact cards, obviously. I have a bit of sideboards for them. I did add Brotherhoods in and Storm's Wrath since the other day, so that's nice. Rejection doesn't even counter Sentinel, right? Balance of the Voids, probably okay. Especially on the play. I did draw another one. Really? Wow. That's that's I, mean, I guess could have been Fell Bushwhacker. Could have been worse. Yo, Mr. Vani, thank you so much for your resub. 
I'll try, go, go. So let's see, do they have lethal if I just say go here? Block, block, take eight, 10, 12. I can go block, block, grapnel blast, locks it on. Take 10, go down to one. And then once I'm at one, I can play the one ring. But that doesn't really save me. Yeah, it's got to be ring and rage, unfortunately. All right, I think it draws some cards too now. Need to like chain the rings while I chip at their boards, or draw enough shocks to make their next attack not good enough. I said like they haven't drawn a brick in like sixteen draw steps. Really realistic. I don't know if I get to live here, we'll see. But my next answer is just chaining rings or drawing a lot of shocks. Sure. Block, block, kill, kill. Yeah, okay. You got me. They didn't mulligan. But then after that, they stuck, they stacked the like top 20 cards of their deck. I would just shouse for zero against them. Probably played four Ornithopter, four Memnites. Any other zeros? All right, Ragavan. Ragavan seems kind of atrocious, but too many of these cards also seem pretty bad. Like board out Ragavans and then board out Rise and Shine. I think I'll fire ramps me into one ring. I'm bad. Now it's on zero stops explosives for zero. No, I guess I can pay one Carlo S for it. Do you play Urza Saga? They don't play Urza Saga, right? Could bring in a rejection if I'm desperate. Any cheap spell. Is Boom Buzz bad here? No, I think turn on Stone Rain. Turn to Stone Rain on the place fine. Macy has a valid question in chat. I don't know if anyone knows. Cutting all the ragmans on the plate breaks my heart. Goes against everything I believe in. Yeah, I'm not doing that. What are my bad cards? Rosie Hoser, 63 months on service. Still putting it all on the line. Maybe rejection is kind of awkward if I keep in. Uh... And then Spell Pierce, it counters their enablers. Yeah, Spell Pierce seems good. Rejection is so bad if they go turn one Raven Inspector. Yeah, maybe I just cut the boom busts or the cleansing wildfires. Which ones are worse? They just boom busts. I play no land. Uh, spell theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, their their main enablers are these two red cards, right? I have my one explosives. And spell pierce could be good, but the hand's just a tr if they go like turn one sentinel, I just lose. Okay, this hand sucks, but I guess I'll keep. Get rid of a bolt. Didn't I cut for I did, but then I decided it was not the call. I think Ragman on the play even against that kind of deck is good. It's just against someone who plays that for Sentinel, basically.
All right, you want to bolt one of their goblins here so they don't just go one drop plus convoke or land convoke. Doesn't feel good, but it's not the end of the world because they traded two cards for free tokens. They're trading like one card for, you know, that's kind of sick that they can do that actually. Hopefully I don't have a second one. Should I kill Relic Warder now? Probably right. Oh, did I have a protection creature here? Or cards in hand. What did they have? The stone flood, the opposite of game one. Just Convokers, yeah, maybe. But they didn't play the Convokers earlier. Here comes the Duskwood Boar. Duskwood Boar was upside. I mean, I could spell Pierce Stab. Does that even stop a Convoke creature? It doesn't, right? We can pay two every token. Oh, they could have Bushwhacker. Oh, I'm so dumb. Wow. Jeez, that was bad. Hey, Mr. Lockie, almost two years with a prime sub. Thank you so much, Mr. Lockie. Hope you keep enjoying the stream. Wow, that was, yeah. Oh, no, never mind. I had one ring protecting me. Duh. I think I'll probably just play another one ring for now. Might not even use it at all. We'll see. This term. Future lapses. Did they play, um, did they play Shrapnel Blast? Modern White Shreds. Call crack, any burn, Epicure. All right, let's draw some cards. Dallas. My chalice for one is good, right? A lot of cards of my deck, but. Salut, Gigi Booby. Yeah, I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to do. I do have to worry about Force of Virtue. Any tricks, really? There's a Bushwhacker, basically. They don't even play the, the free mana one. Damn, pretty.
a little worried to die to my uh, Ponza. Mm. It's just a Boomba stick, kind of, abuse, trying to abuse artifact lands. It's a bit of everything mixed together. Just trying to make as many synergies work as possible and playing the good cards too, the cheap cards. Kind of have to just to make up for the fact all my lands come into play tapped or half my lands come into play tapped. I think I just need to keep drawing cards and hope I have a One Ring or Shrapnel Blast in my top few cards. I should have maybe waited one more turn for the One Ring actually. But then I would have had to Storm Wrath, yeah. Oh, that works against the One Ring? Right. Dude, I totally forgot about that. I guess I'm not using my One Ring after all. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Maybe I should have Chalice on two. Then I can't really kill them. Yeah, Skull Crab himself. Bushwhacker is just lethal here. Should have played Explosives for zero. I like, yeah. Ninja. Yeah, drawing like just one threat would have been nice. I boarded some out, don't know. Board out Rise and Shine. Mm. Not sure why I boarded out Rise and Shine in this matchup over the other one. Probably doesn't make a ton of sense. I guess it is better against Relic Warder. I guess I just have to draw. I'd read nine. I'd draw a Shrapnel Blast. Oh no, never mind. I have Chalice on one. It's like an Explosives for zero off a of Citadel. Get rid of my Chalice. Or I can Shrapnel Blast. Uh... Oh, I did draw. I did draw that, that was kind of lucky. I'll get to live one turn. Oh! Brain fart. Wow. Brutal. I went to convoluted. I was like, oh, I, need I don't know for some reason. Oh, that sucks. Baited by the draw, yeah. No, I was thinking that for some reason. Oh, hell no! Oh, ah! oh that sucks. I guess Chalice on one was not the play. In hindsight. You can't believe what fell. I was not in great shape, I agree. And I had to win a game on the draw. Let's see. Yeah. The genius of Gabriel Nassif. I guess I didn't sideboard very well. Not drawing Rise and Shine cost me this game. Huh, hands pretty decent too. Drinking on the job, don't mind me. It's the weekend. I'm just glad to actually be able to catch the stream again. Ooh, nice. Yeah, a bit of white wine. It's not my fault. I made the marinara sauce the other day that calls for white wine, so I have a bit left over. Why were you not able to catch the stream recently? They say what happened. Well, I don't know if you want to go into deep kind of details, but glad to have you back anyways. Hey, Grim. Vantage again? Oh, Goblin Guide this time. Dagri. <laughs> B 
value. I was thinking about that matchup. I figured it would be a decent matchup. Man, I have the nuts too. It might be a decent matchup. My mana base is, is, pain, is fairly painless. I have a lot of cheap spells. My card line up kind of nicely. <clears throat> Oh, they mulled? Yeah, they mulled to four was burned? Is that even possible? I didn't realize. Mm -mm. Oh, no, four. They mulled to four. And I hit a goblin guide. Let's get the pressure going and then I can just back it up with Pierce and Bolts. I'm not sure I've ever seen Burn Mulligan to four. Feel like you should keep almost any five card hand. How greedy should I be? I have some burn spell. I'm going after basic mountain. Oh. Yeah. I can also not resist the sinkhole DFY. Especially because my peers doesn't counter the Rift Bolt. I mean, I, there's no way I can lose right there. One card, that's 12. Two burn spells, assuming it's like six. Yeah, it's just. It's Jover. It was Jover before the game started. Mulligan to four. Probably could have beaten most seven card hands, I think. On the draw, though, I have no sideboard against them whatsoever, like zero. Brotherhood's Brotherhood is probably not very good. Explosive's not good, but my main deck's good. One ring, one ring's probably not very useful. Kind of protects me, but I've seen our set being better than the one ring. I also know I have too many one mana spells. The broader hands then being okay. I could see our set being okay. I didn't think of the one ring. Really makes sense. Stop sorcery speed burn spells, I guess. Decent was my shrapnel blast. Yeah, I don't know. What am I drinking? Just white, dry white wine. That's some cheap wine that I get to make tomato sauce. That's it's fine. Can't tell you what exactly. Uh, just average. Well, average for France, maybe dry white wine. I think it was maybe like two euro fifty for half a bottle. We did get a bottle of rum arranged. I don't know how you say it in English. In France, you say arrange rum just rum was a bunch of spices and sometimes juice and stuff mango pa passion passion fruit arrange rum that we're gonna we're going on weekend next weekend for with my friends for my birthday for like me and my couple of friends have kind of birthday this week and i'm well, not kind of but all close together so so i won't be here i won't be drinking some rum mulled rum maybe Miss being in France for the wine, bread, and cheese, yeah. We are pretty decent uh, at that. And two spells are pretty good, but I think five lands just too many. This looks a bit better. Not much. Infused realm is how you'd say it. Is this 40? Yeah, 40 years old. Big deal, apparently. Spice from I'm praying for no searing blades. Anything but a searing blaze is fine. Not always spicy. Spice doesn't mean spicy in English. It could. Oh. Well, it's not 
spicy as in like necessarily hot. Like you can have spices that are just spices. They don't have to be like spicy. I don't know. That's not a very clear explanation, I think, but uh shrapnel blast. I guess I'll block and I don't want to draw shrapnel blast. Spice does not imply spicy. Yeah, okay, I'm not crazy. Yeah, when it can be just flavored if the spices are not actually spicy. A little confusing, I'll admit. Hey, Dirk, flavored. The rum, in French, you say rum arrangé. Orange? No, it doesn't have to do with orange. Arrangé, as in rum, arranged rum, like mixed rum, or... You basically let the rum... Hmm, might as well, right? No, I guess I need that treasure for the one ring, and treasure is good with my artifacts. Three damage is a lot, though. Three damage for a treasure? When oh they have two things in play too oh yeah definitely yo morning Dirk I was saying it was the best night of the the year for people in the U S got that extra hour of sleep especially shout out to all my parents out there yeah we're the burn deck now. They got pretty unlucky with their draws. Mulligan to four, and then they kept the like one lander. <coughs> one lander drew double uh, pain, man. Yet here I am. Before... Yeah, I mean, instead of five, right? Instead of before six, you're on before five. Huge gains. A boom bust on top. I mean. <laughs> Seems more fun to do that. Shock them. And then boom, they're one uh, non pain land. Kind of messing around here. Probably better if he had the soft lock. I mean, my line's not horrible. It might be optimal line, honestly. I'm not sure if firing up that. Uh, That blast right away made a ton of sense, but I might double Q. I might double Q this deck. This deck's pretty fast. Modern challenge starts in eighty minutes. Oh God! Have mercy, double Qing. They just killed him. <laughs> oh yeah, they can't target me. I was thinking they were trolling, but they. Like... <laughs> <laughs> they had the dead ripple. That's pretty good. Okay, the one ring is pretty. I, that's why you said ripple. Someone said ripple in chat at some point while I was sideboarding. Me, yeah, that's what they meant. Jose, not our very own Jose, an imposter clearly. Oh, why didn't I just play? Oh, because it's my only artifact land. No fetch land plays. This one easy counter. No. Uh oh, living end. Played against living end the other day. I beat it. It was close though. One and wanted that F F six value that badly, eh? Never again. Can tell you that much. Don't be lazy, chat. Don't be lazy with your plays. I have pretty aggro hand too. I get steam then just in case.
if you knew how to clip, you'd do it. It's super easy to clip. But I don't know in this lamb jaw. Man, them 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 shocking their fetching right away is literally gonna cost them the game. If they don't have grief living end, which you could have, they have seven cards in hand. You could also just have outburst. I guess they're just kind of dead, actually. They need mm, no grief grief living end probably is still good enough. Because I'm just stuck on lands too. Okay. Disputing, our set seems okay. The land destruction, not great, probably. Chalice, the Storm's Wrath, probably not good enough. Chalice, Goat, Stone, Relic, Crypt. And then... What did I cut last time? I think Soul is actually kind of bad in this matchup. Even though it was good this game. And Cleansing Wildfire is probably a low mid. With this card advantage, I guess the bolts are pretty terrible. It's in soul being better than Galvani Blast. Uh, 730 CT. All right, chat. I've been asked to replace someone in the top eight of the charity event that starts in four hours. I'm pretty much done with the qualifier. It means no modern. It means no pioneer. Hmm. But I'm most likely not making top eight. What should I do? Quarterfinal starts in four hours. I'm basically done with the qualifier. And I lost round one of the challenge. What event is standard? I'm, I'm going to say yes. Yeah, do it. Do it for charity. Do it for the sponsor. Do it for the fans. Maybe I'll win. The ultimate guard is watching. Dang. <laughs> Good thing I didn't say anything bad. <laughs> Can you imagine? It was like, eh, screw them. The genius of Gabriel and Steve. No, nah, I don't get to stream. It's their stream, but it's good too. I can raid them. I can raid them. There's some cool standard decks in the top eight. I prefer using not to not to speak. If oh I yeah, it's I thought as, as the beginning, yeah. but I'm, I'm not doing well in my tournaments anyway, so I'm I'm happy to. Uh... You can't. Believe what fell. Mm, do I want to ramp or do I want to go after the lands? I have two basics. So I think I'm better off ramping with my hand. Well, combo cleansing wildfire on destructible lands. Some sick, sick ramping growth. Cantrip ramping growth, no big deal. Isn't holding up double pierce better? You don't need double pierce. You don't need double pierce on their turn. Accomplishes nothing. On your turn, it might matter because they could have escape plus outburst. On their turn, one pierce or two pierce is the same thing. I mean, one mana or two mana is the same thing. Obviously, having two pierce is nice if they have the grief. And if they have commandeer. You know, you just knock the table. Nice hand, sir. You move on to the next game. Do you have a blocker for my rag? Ooh, bonjour. Yeah, or if you multi free, you flip the table before saying nice hands. You're like, whoops! My hand slipped. I'm sorry. 
Are we gonna lose to Hardcast Creator of Mysteries? Foundation Breaker? Not like this. Exile targets player. Alright. Still pretty decent. I still like my chances. Call me crazy. Do you have force navigation? No? Low ancestral recall? I'll just play the tap land. Three and a half years of watching the stream. Here's to another three and a half. Nice, Ahmed. Thank you so much, Freena. Yeah, I've been streaming for, I think, funny three and a half, but I think I've been streaming for like, no, six years, right? Not seven. Six and a half. You've been here for over half of that, which is huge. Thank you, Ahmed. Thanks for everything. I'm guessing I'm not a favorite to be streaming still in three and a half years, but you never know. They drew one of their basic. So and I'm I'm almost out of basics too. So the line here is probably double cleansing wildfire in their face. Get them off double black. Cause grief would be pretty good for them here. Uh oh got green right. Get him off red, I guess. Oh, hello. Bonjour. Yeah, confirm dumping us. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. The Vogue Grief is a start for them. Taking the one ring. You like it, Sponge Day? Bonjour. Bonjour, no. This game looks fairly over. Dark Steel Citadel would be nice here. Oh, a relic. Oh, they're pretty much dead, but I kind of want to play with my food a bit. Boom. Hey, la vie. All right, they've had enough. That was a beating. I think that matchup's probably decent. I think my deck lines up okay against theirs, because you got Ragavan plus four Ragavan, four Spell Pierce, pretty good. They shock themselves a lot, so sometimes they get in burn range fast. Land destruction is fairly effective. One ring can buy you time. And an upper sideboard have a, a lot of hate. I think I'm a massive favorite in the sideboard games. Yo, Pluck the Ninja. Love it. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Welcome to Sewer. <laughs> You're flattered. When did Mog get into five? Maybe they're also playing Tron. Except this deck is a bit better against Tron. Small price to pay for the content. Well, I appreciate you feel that way. It does warm my heart. Maybe play Citadel is actually better if I draw. Can I get punished for playing Citadel? Island first is better if I... Uh... I actually played against Mill the other day, no? Oh no, I was playing Asmo and I got paired against Mill. Oh no, I was also playing that, that deck. That's when the... Oh, you know what? The player who was playing Mail who was salty the other day? I saw someone tweet and it was the same player playing Mill being salty to them. <laughs> Just super, super serial salt, uh, salt lord, I guess. 
I was like, I recognize that screen name. They were the, they were the player who got mad because I had like turn one ragvan, turn two bolts. They're like incredible, unbelievable. My opening that turn one ragvan, turn two removal spell in modern. Hmm. That's kind of a nice bait, no? I don't think they play spell pierce, but why risk it? Are we playing bridge? Dead joke. As in bridge, the game bridge? I don't know if it's a dad joke, but it definitely flew over my head. All right, they didn't have a. Uh, they didn't have drawn in the lock. Might have played ring had I known. <laughs> Look at their field of ruin. We're indestructible land in a basic. Uh oh. Mm, it's not that scary. Mill nine. Plus. Sure. Oh, I'm giving them a shuffle. Mm. Does Archive Shrub target too? I guess Jay's buying them a lot of time. The pile is back. Yeah. The pile's doing okay too. I'm two and one. This game's looking pretty good. Laughter. I got the boom bust to counter the laughters. Speaking of boom bust, pretty good here. Hmm. Hmm. I have one basic left. I don't really need to ram though. I don't think I'm fixing their mana by going uh, cleansing wildfire on field of ruin here. Oh, I hope I'm not helping them out. <clears throat> It'd be a cool idea in Legacy to play all those indestructible lands in Armageddon. Is that good enough for Legacy? Could be. Playing with Sphere of Resistance in Legacy seems rough. Playing with Sphere of Resistance in Modern is rough enough. I don't know in Legacy, but I'm not a Legacy expert. Ooh, Ragavan. Let's draw first. Spell Pierce would be nice. Galvanic Blast is nice. Dash. Then they said Chase, they said them. Push, sure. We're down to two cards. Uh. I don't think the protection from bridge does a ton for me. I'm not even sure it's trap the only one that targets and they have no way to shuffle my deck right now. Well, it could be useless. Yokai. I made top eight. Did you see? Did they ask you first because you had more points and you had to work? Or you couldn't? Are you. I'm happy that I don't get to play in top eight. Well, yeah, there's BlizzCon going on, right? There's the Paris Games Week in, in Paris. There's BlizzCon as well. Just they didn't have some good stuff. All right, so let's blast them now, I guess. Ghost to X. Yeah, unfortunately, I haven't played much Ghost to X. Have you been playing still? To be fair, we never play any, any board games. I haven't played board games in years. Months already had plans, aka raid some dungeons. Raid some dungeons was the clan, was the wild clan. Ooh, hello. All right, let's attack first in case it drops. Mm. 
If I draw first, I could draw uh, another insole artifact. Double spell pierce and bolt. Hmm. I think we got that one. Seems good. Fed dispute. Uh, chalice, no. Explosives, no. Crypt and relic, probably okay to counter drown. Brotherhood send? Could be okay. Clearing Bridge is actually decent against me. I was also on pretty big tilt yesterday. Why well, you, you don't enjoy a format that's uh, highly impacted by whoever wins the die roll? Hmm, I have no bad cards. Cleansing Wildfire is pretty mid. The Rampart is nice though. Fixes my mana for a double blue, double red. How did I side roll last time? I probably trimmed Rise and Shine. And I didn't have as many cards to bring in. Did I cut all the One Rings? One Ring kind of won me that game. I mean that game because I was flooding pretty hardcore. Maybe brought our Snaring Bridge is a pretty big pain. I just, I just won't bring in Brotherhoods in and I'll trim some Rise and Shine to make my deck less bad against Bridge. I'll trim the One Ring. That's all I got. 62. Yeah, I agree the format is fun. I've enjoyed every game I've played of that format. Ragaman not grind against crabs. Yeah, but I have the removal spell to go with it. I think Ragaman's probably one of my best cards. Let me just trim a couple cleansing wildfires. The ram part is nice, but why do you always spam the mana traders uh, command fodder Frodo? Just helping me out. Yo Doom Lake, what's up? You hopping into some pioneer challenge? Streaming Z Pioneer, what are you playing? You didn't end up doing great with my John Place, right? Or else, I don't know, maybe you multi account mana traders and you're always, maybe you found a way to exploit mana traders. Oh, yeah, that mana for deck. Cool. You were crushing, right? You had a really good record. Sometimes you just got to be result oriented and play the deck you've been uh, crushing with. Any believers in chat? Any believers in turn one Ragavan uh, surviving? Not totally unreasonable. I think it's fine. If they have it, my hand's still pretty solid. It's not like Spell Pierce guarantees that my Ragavan lives. All right, well, that was absolute worst case scenario. Definitely did not backfire. <coughs> How many basics did they mill? None. Just like we drew it up, yep. <laughs> Do we add Emrakul? No, I think I only add Emrakul when I lose to mill or when I get paired against mill. I'm not sure. Why are we going for Ragavan? Mill has been popular though. I think I've played against it. One was Black Green, Asmogario, uh, once was this deck, and now was this deck again. Ragavan. Got it. You have to see my hand. But I'd rather that than use my spell pierce. Too bad they didn't pay the two life. At least we know they're not ghosting. Oh, I almost time off myself. Oops. No, it went real bad. 
Yeah, click land. Always click land, except when you've actually not played a land. Brennan should click land from the top of their deck here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think that's another reason to trim uh, to trim cards in this matchup. The surgical value. I need a card that does something. Three of the main souls are gone, and my ragavans are gone. Pretty much need to burn them out. Why don't these artifact lands like make you let you scry? They should have that scry ability, you know, four tap scry one. Isn't surgical pretty bad against me? Oh, it was great for them this game. Single single handedly winning them the game. I think surgical is just good in mail in general. Like it's not it's not especially great in this matchup. They know about my spell peers. Know about everything. I do have Boom Bust in my deck. That's still a good draw. Mill of zero Boom Busts. Boom Bust here is probably a GG. Archive Trap, yeah. Mm, I guess they trapped me. That's what I was waiting for. So let's fetch now. Um, I know it's minus one card in my deck, but I think it's worth it. All right, I have uh, probably one draw step to draw a boom bust before it's too late, or they might just have land fractured sanity or whatever it's called either one those there this is your land this one i'm not sure it's maybe also your land mm, tg damn we draw lands this game maybe the surgicals didn't help I don't know why I played the fetch man first. Bust. Burn it. What you got? Probably you don't have a drawn in the lock. Totally unexpected. Incredible luck. Did you just board out crabs? We didn't really see any sideboard cards. All right, bust. Here we go again. Surely this time it resolves. Nice spell pierce idiot. I do have one boom bust left, but we know they have no lands in hand, right? So they have at least three spells in hand. And they're not mail spells. So they might just have more counters. Maybe hopefully just all oops, all fatal push. I have also two Gilvanic Blasts left. I think I have exactly three burn spells left. Four, three, two blasts, and maybe a bolt. I could do chalice on the play. Chalice for one wrecks them. It also wrecks me. And it's kind of a bad top deck. Nah, I board out I, I usually keep in, in soul and board out horizon shine, but just for surgical, I guess I should do two and two. That mills nine. 
I mean, I can pierce it, but they still get to mail nine. I think I'm drawing dead. I guess I have exactly two burn spells left in my deck. Grab that lethal. Oh. Yeah, I just need to draw one Galvanic Blast now. And if play the land, right? No, I haven't played the land. All right, 25%, 20%. I only see one Galvanic Blast in the yard. I guess I should fetch. Land Blast. 50-50 chat. You either draw it or you don't. Ah, uh, never lucky. Man, it had to be like non-islands, non-swamp too. Does seem like they're F sixing. Ah, uh, no, another thinking. Hey, hey. GG's. <laughs> Perfect timing. You're on the play. Yeah, the mana is rough. I haven't been punished too badly so far for the awkward mana. Keep. I guess this is the moment, the, the spot where I have to go and look them up. See what they like to play. Modern challenge. The last one was burn. When was that? Not that long ago. Nadi says, pretty sure WP and premium stores are two slaughters and non-premium are one slaughter. Hmm. So this says, I play in a premium that only makes one slaughters. Might be in the US then, might be also reach independence. But this says, depends on the package you buy, at least in Europe. Burn again, yeah. Not bad, I mean, it's the same system, doesn't mean it's good. Wait, did they have Blood Creep in, the, in their deck last time? Flame Rift. Bump in the Night, Flame Rift, Vexing Devil. Um... Looks like Burn's all tougher when, uh, I don't know why they died right away. Oops, confused. That sucks. They're short on lands. Burn's a great matchup, apparently. PaysAB says, it seems that being terrible at magic saves me a lot of headaches. Not reading chat is a good idea. Life of the streamer, my friend. Life of a freaking streamer. Why do we lose to? We lost to Boros Convoke, round one. We've been rallying since. On tap land? Never lucky. I'm not gonna spell Pierce that bold, so I should just. Finally! Now he's like, fine, fine, I guess I have to do it myself. It's like, maybe for once someone else will, will give Shudzi a sub, but appreciate that so much, uh, Naughty, especially when it's to uh, our, uh, my awesome mod. They're playing around the bus part of Boombus nicely, I will say that. 
Oh, let you should see. <laughs> Rip. Snake Eyes MTG has their own boom busts. The Fairy Blood Braid. Hey, that doesn't work anymore, right? In paper? Is that your paper brew? Of Blood Braid into Boom Bust? What a ridiculous game. You just play with like fetch friends and stuff. Told you, don't keep one landers with Spurn. It's nice to have the bolt for a creature now. Oh, why is Boomba's good in your deck? Seems like not the best Boomba's deck. <laughs> This is surely uh, one of the games of all time, as they say. I think they're just going to start discarding lands to troll us. Disagree, it's fantastic. Okay. Seems counterintuitive. Finally, it's safe. It's safe for the one ring out there. <laughs> Maybe a little loose to fire off that bolt. First time I actually get to do that. Recommend I look into it. Mm. Or Flagstone. Man, that's probably super sketch. They're also playing way too few lands. Um, no, nah, I think that list is probably not very good, but could be wrong. Just no changes in this matchup. How do we do the last time? The one shout, the one on Nana. Didn't I want some of these cards? remember I don't think so I guess not objection dispute in our set plosive chalice on the draw no brotherhood soon no I guess not it's been great for you taking you to our L call secure I mean I just think your man is Super sketch. Blackstone was that boom bust is really bad in this deck. Also, free cosmic reverse seems like you're overdoing it. I see a lot of things that seem like the deck is flawed. I mean, I'm sure you have some great draws and stuff. Maybe overall it evens out, and your your nut draws make up for. Your non functional draws. Not trying to kill it, they could just have Goblin Guide. Experience. That's fine. I'm I'm explaining you my experience of playing magic and building decks for almost 30 years. Uh 
Oh, did I play the wrong land at some point? Not really. Doesn't give haste, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. You like the idea you bet the... Yeah, I mean, at least that list doesn't have Omnath in it, which is coherent with the bad mana base. I do like that you didn't go full greed there. But I still feel like the mana is going to be super rough. Okay, I guess let's start bolting. Look at the side. What about it? You guys can't really see. That word seems fine. Kind of awkward spot here. They have five cards in hand, so I should probably just go for it, right? It's pretty hard for them to kill me right away. And it gives me a fast clock. Boombus fix your mana? Well, Boombus just doesn't do much if you don't have Blackstone. And 11, like you have 13 sources of red, which is pretty sketchy for turn two Boombus. You have five, nine, 12, 13 sources of green. You have 5, 9, 10, 11, 12 sources of blue for your turn to ice. So you're like already a short, like a, a, a count, like a land counter too short on all your colored mana. I mean, I, I don't know what you want, what, what do you want me to say? As I said, I think, you know, your list, I could see it being high variance and being it better in, you know, some games are going to do well. 20 freelance, even Rhinos plays like 21 plus 4 Fire Ice plus 4 Lorgan revealed to get to their freelance turn free. 23 is just so greedy. Your next month just very functional. All right, well, hard to say if Burn is, like, actually favored or not, because had Burn's open, so I've just had four bad draws in a row somehow. All right. You got it spot on. I was a bit off location. And my own police car set on fire during Protest in LA. Oh, that game's fun. It's cool that it's, like, famous things, too, so you can actually guess and stuff. Hmm. Let's see what they've been playing. I feel like they got paired against the streamer recently. I think they were playing in Scanister recently, like yesterday, maybe on stream or something. Doctor Combo, right? I remember. I remember now. Turn one, Ragaman, probably decent against. Maybe they have portable hole and stuff. Maybe it's not decent. Dream? Dream draw? Probably worth it, right? Shuts his like. <laughs> I mean, just the one ring rights, one ring, one ring profits, one ring monkey freelance when the open and has nothing. Surely, surely I'm gonna win this game. Mm. 
<laughs> Wrong time to say that. Just when Adam arrives. <laughs> Bad timing, buddy. Not a big fan of like the band, but maybe a maybe a, a large timeout. <laughs> I can tolerate stupid opinions. Just don't randomly come in here foaming at the mouth. I feel like that's not too much to ask. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, got distracted. Um. I'm gonna say sorry back even though I've been here the whole time just because uh let's see let's see. Um I'm gonna have too many good options. How do I lose? I'm guessing it involves doing what I'm about to do, but oh well. Uh oh. <clears throat> it was bound to happen, I guess. What are people getting time out for? Calling it a stupid opinion on top of anything. 50 months. Maybe Adam. I, I, I don't know, man. I, I mean, let's, let's be reasonable. There are. Looks like they're more discussing politics, not the greatest time for it. Just like I do discuss politics sometimes, but this thing, this subject is just mm. no, we talk politics sometimes, but this subject is just. Hard to discuss online, shall we say? What subject? Oh. <clears throat> Handsome Tom, thanks for the resub. Jay Stampy, thanks for the resub. Casey, thanks for the resub as well. Drawing card out and you're paying attention. I'm pretty distracted, not gonna lie. Uh, how should I sideboard and stop her combo? Esper Sentinel was a pain. Portable hole's pretty good. My regs are pretty miserable, but also trading with Esper Sentinel is actually fine. How does Portable Hole read? When Portable Hole enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent. Non-land permanent. Okay, so they can't hit Rise and Shine, but they can hit in Soul. How good is Dispute? Dispute is okay-ish. Rejection's not even that good, right? Despite them being an artifact deck? No. Alpine Moon is decent. Brotherhoods and Shirley is decent. Do I have a needle in my sideboard? I don't. Storm's Wrath could be good. Relic's not gonna stop them. Explosives for zero. I think Spell Pier is gonna be awkward for me. Then and Soul doesn't seem that great. Cleansing Wildfire, they have three basics, not great, not terrible. The One Ring, maybe Rejection is okay-ish. Maybe Spell Pierce, I don't know, this is tough. I 
Three to one spell here is somewhat nice. I wouldn't really want to draw more than one. I don't think so. I think playing the bridge first, maybe. What would I spell Pierce? I don't care about Foundry and all that stuff. Doesn't seem like it's costing me much to Scalding Tarn first. Bridge plays nicely if I top deck something. Let's see what they get, if they just get color complete. <laughs> Incredibly tempting. Can I beat that card? 5-5 five, five indestructible, first strike trample, whenever this creature deals combat damage to a creature, so it, does, it works against my indestructible cards. Good gamble. Hit Hallowed Fountain. Did it shock Hallowed Fountain? But it might not have another white source. How do I get rid of that card if it resolves? I literally don't really, just no ways. Need to race it. it was rough. And sold the equipment, that works. Just gives them a 5-5. Five, five. The only time Gap goes for Max Greed is when he wants to destroy lands. Damn, they didn't have another land. I would have just won on the spot. The thing is, I have Brotherhood Zen for the token, so... I was like... Urza Saga is not that big of a deal anyways. Let's still go for it here, right? Is there a reason not to? Gab yeah, didn't say boom when he played boom. Sad day. I'm sorry. I didn't know that those were the rules of engagement. I remember. You know what's cooking. Boom! It's a Dota sound line. Sorry. Sorry to all non Dota players. Isn't this worse than killing the new saga if they have a land? I don't know. Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! Yo, well, is it? What? Good, good. Going on a whole run here after a run, round one loss. I'm about to end my opponent's career with uh, that Brotherhood's End. Is it going to be the greatest Brotherhood's End ever cast? It's looking like it. Red, red one, sorcery. Destroy all artifacts with mana value free or less. They've played a land, right? I think opponent is not ghosting. Or they're really selling it. They're really in it for the long con. Maybe they have a force of negation. Do they play that card? They don't play that card, right? And in their latest list. The one of good good sideboarding by me, good change by me. Two oh two. I was O2 oh in modern challenge, which I'm two and two in now, I think. That's brutal. That's lucky. One of Brotherhood's End. Now oh, we can just 
kill them? I mean, air really doesn't matter, right? Playing the one ring's more fun. You know what's cooking? Boom! Shadow's Rebelli was relevant the other day when I was playing that deck. But I missed it though. I had a bunch of indestructible cards and they had Shadow Sphere in play and they forgot it. <clears throat> Next so random, they're like 15, drawing some cards, oh wait, burn you out. Don't fetch Bonan, don't do it. Oh wait, I don't have the mana. Because I'm a monsoon. Oh, round to run into other terminus up. Oh no, they have mana for dispute now. What have I done? Not very competitive. That Brotherhood's end so it's just insane. Maybe I need more of it for these sideboards. <laughs> uh, just get rid of the One Ring, or Let's see what their turn and finishes are. Mono Red Agrain Pioneer, Burn in Modern. All right. Of course, Ireland, the nun was a dead giveaway. Was it? Because of the hat? Or just because there's not really any nuns in London, in the UK, and it's more of a Catholic Irish thing? Gamba is up. Is it uh, Spike's deck again? Looks like it. Spike just broke it. Everyone just crushing was that deck. Well, I guess the last round we played against someone who was what two and two. No, never mind. Swiss fear. Just burn slash prowess. I'm the thighs. I'm gonna try, but this game's looking like a loss already. Can't imagine really. Winning. Maybe if I draw a blue red, exactly blue red, uh, blue red land next turn. Blue red land would be nice. Or I guess mountain would be okay. Don't want to play Ragaban into a Lava Dart. Could have bolted in my upkeep before they drew the cards. In case that's a card they drew and then they had one less surveil. Maybe that was loose. I 
least I bought him to one ring. <clears throat> Might be a variation of Red Green Prowess. Surely they played a new card, right? I feel like I always lose to prize decks in modern. Got second place at the qualifier was mutate in Pioneer. I remember someone sharing a mutate list a while ago in one of the formats. Maybe it was you. Yeah, it makes um but the commander had to forfeit. And I guess people who Kai couldn't do, Kai couldn't play anymore, so. They just picked me out of the group. They just had to go bottom of the barrel. Just mutate me and say, game, it's a mechanic and magic. Wait, 10 11? It's a healthy. Uh... Oh, it's not quite lethal. Fire one off. Could be worse. They free out without paying attention. They could have done a bit better. Yeah, the bolt, and they did, uh... Gamble. Gamble, gamble. Explain mutate, we don't have that much time, yeah. I guess I'll trade Ragavan for it, right, rather than Bolt. It might not even block. So you're saying the tease is real, chat. There's no way we're winning this. Every every draw is lethal. Like Land and Soulscar Mage are the two only cards in their deck that doesn't kill me. Oh man, one red mana. Uh, uh yes, yeah, still. Probably gonna block this time. <laughs> You're like, no, okay, you got me. All right, brick. Artifact land. Brick for you. Artifact land for me. Modern, modern mutates, nice. That's sick. I mean, if they break, I win. Wow, incredible. <laughs> The one in a hundred game you win in, in, in this matchup. Wow. Uh, let's do Crypt Relic, Brotherhood's End. Uh, Narset? Monkey says, what's Nassif's wit? Nassif wit? The genius of Gabriel Nassif. You, my friend, must not know what Yellow Hat very well. This is not a guy who brings win conditions. A chalice bad spell or chalice good spell pure spab. Dancing of all fire, kind of bad too. Is that crazier than the Melwin? Odds wise, probably, I'm not sure. Lock on my stock, normal in, normal in. Let's see, Crypt, Explosives, Chalice, Sylvonic Blast, Bolt, Ragavan, Relic. Surely they play Lavadarch, right? Pierce isn't bad. It's hard on the mana. Hard to keep the mana up. Yeah, but my deck has a lot of one mana spells. Do I play Dota? I used to. I used to play a lot of Dota. Pierce Breach, I guess, can be enough. 
Ragamon was good this game, but assuming they played four Lavid Art. Maybe I'll just board that Tragavan. Mm -mm -mm. Guess I'll bring in the Wrath and just keep in cleansing wildfire. Assuming this matchup's just really bad, honestly. Under mulliganing to five though. What did it keep? Four cards, no lands. Oh yeah, the two mana spell. Yeah, makes sense actually. Maybe I just play Chalice for zero and put and soul on it. Oh, I should play it now so it doesn't have summoning sickness. Hmm. Too late. Wow, it's strong. I mean, I don't think I can lose to Mulligan to four with this hand. I should have chance for zero, I keep forgetting. <laughs> My match has started? Oh no, we're finally getting overlap. Should just drop. I think I'm two and three right in the Brotherhood's end. All right, let's play Chalice for one. Mm. Is my Chalice ch still a Chalice for one? If I put in Soul on it, does anyone know? Taking two and Spell Piercing? What? All right, hopefully this is not a spew. Yeah, countering the, the growth didn't do anything, obviously. They got the prize trigger. I was a little worried about that card was chess for one. I think it's still worth it, even though I had double spell pierce. Yeah, I don't know, maybe put it on a chest that's just bad. For some reason I was thinking my chest gains indestructible once the insole is on it. Thus. I didn't play this game very well. Yeah, those beats are funny, you know. I almost definitely misplayed that game somewhere. It's gotta be. Q 
Okay, that wasn't too bad. Have the stream started? Uh, they have the first set of quarterfinals. And then I'm the next set, so hopefully I got another 50 minutes because I think I have to end the stream when I have to end the stream when I have to play standard. I can probably keep playing both on the side, but because they need my webcam and my arena screen. I mean, technically, if OBS doesn't use my camera. One card left. Should I just kill that? Uh, should I just kill that druid? Instead of like no pressure. Because I don't have a two turn clock. Well, I do have a two turn clock. Yeah, I'm just going to kill that now. I don't have lethal because Dragon's Claw trigger is your cards too. I do have chat lethal. It was UC Drino who suggested Boom Bus. I don't even remember what happened exactly. That was a good draw. I had Lee thought you were right. Apparently you can see the future. Oh, damn. I didn't realize. Ugh. Oh, man. When did that pop up? What was this for zero? Kind of just want to scoop. Run. What's the deal here? What's the most efficient? All right, executive decision here. The scooping that match so I can focus on the stuff that matters. Just scoop. I need to win that match, but I'm gonna have to like triple Q and stuff. Who is Selvin's crying? You love to see it. Modern challenge, yeah. This is I'm six and one in a modern qualifier, and daughter one I'm just two and four now. Okay, this game looks like it's over. Sorry, it was good all day. It's getting a little confusing now. Trids Blast, just in case. Still had, still had 11, uh, 11 points of burn. Ooh, couple rejection, Alpine Moon, we even have a Crumble to Dust. Nice. And board out Lightning Bolts, I guess. Like this, Pierce, Rejection, Moon, Blast. I could see Bold being better than Pierce in practice. I could see that for sure. I think someone's gonna get a freebie. Too bad Denim's kind of nice. Solid hand. Hmm. 
Might as well do that for Steam events. No, not Ballista. Should I ramp myself or should I stub them from getting Tron? I stub them from getting Tron. Uh, sorry, country. Look at chat because I need to keep an eye on the thingy. Because the same problem is this is they still get to cast the ring next turn potentially. It's not like super great for me or anything. Uh, just rise and shine and dash. Nice, I was hoping for that. They're off it. Ooh, they didn't play a... So I can attack or if I can play a one ring for damage or get a one ring going. Seems like a no-brainer. Okay, me and Mengu need to start. Am I ready for the triple Q? Probably not very reasonable. Let's try it. Okay, let's stop. Oh, right now, okay, wire might. I might just be GG. You had 18. I mean, maybe. If... Maybe if I draw, um... maybe if I draw a one ring. Exactly, and they have nothing. What's Mengu playing, by the way? I don't even know. Can anyone tell me what Mengu's playing in the tournament? I think he's probably playing S for midrange, right? queuing what I do best. Sorry, I'm doing my best to triple Q. I just ramp myself here and just uh, 
crumble them. Good. What do I do here? Mingu scooped. Okay, so I can dash Ragavan, get a treasure, or I can just cast it, play a come into play tap lands. I just dash is good. All right, well, they could have, uh, could have Warping Whale, which would be unfortunate. So what can I do? Nice sideboard in this matchup already. Sorry, um, let's see. Do I get to overload next turn? Attack, play tapped. All right, hopefully this is good enough. Probably max damage this turn. Now let's see what do I need here. Good beats. Oh, a sec. Do I even use it on map? Or do I save it? I mean, we know to have another tower in hand, right? I just save it. Uh. Killing the map, do I care? Could be a 4-4 four, four with Rise and Shine too. I guess I'll always kill the planeswalker. Wait, Dobson and Dev Worm call in hands. Mm -hmm. 
be wanted that badly. Oh well. Update, you did not choose all my timeouts against Mengu. Can't trust anyone. I trust Slaverage. I don't know why. Played them a lot. Why oh, they didn't just sack main face, clearly. Clearly ghosting. Trium, so some beanstalk pile, most likely. Let's play some more red mana. All right, I like my chances. No commandeer, no force. No lands? Man, I've been running so good today. And no binding either. Wow. Right, they have something. An ice. Alright, I can live with that. Hmm, that ice is actually kind of annoying. I have no blue mana, right? Am I crazy? No. I should have done bolts, probably. Well, <clears throat> just throwing rings at people's face. This deck looks sick. Yeah, looks pretty sick when I turbo rampant on the play and then it's a free land drop. Agreed. All right, dispute Narset in. Uh, what else did I want in the matchup? Relics for Ren and Six versions, right? In this matchup, meh. Chalice, no, 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 no. I think it was just these three cards. Oh, Storm's Wrath. Can <clears throat> Scam? I'm not sure. Zero is this deck, I think. I think Scam is probably not the worst, though, but... I think a couple in insults probably just pretty bad in this matchup. Insult against Teferi, Insult against Solitude. Rejection, if they have the one ring. Spell Pierce better, Alpine Moon, no, Brotherhood said no. Crumble to Dusk could be okay. This has four mana stone right though. Storm Draft, Northhead combo, yeah. Fine, I have one Planeswalker in my deck. Sounds fine. Zero indestructible land is rough for the boom bus plan. Have we faced Tron? We beat Tron last round. It was really close. Much closer than I thought it would be. I did face some good Tron draws though. Just get steam vents here in case I draw Ragavan. I guess if I draw Ragavan, I'm gonna dash it. No Charles agent. Nice. That's a nice. That's a good draw. Because well, it's better than basic land or fetch land. <laughs> Maybe not a good draw. What did I do now, JD? Why am I getting called out? Just sitting on a bunch of vetoes. What Dovin's veto? The Commandeer. The GG Commandeer. Binding. They go in case they have binding. Turn their upkeep. Uh, 
Lucky. Could have played a little game of trying to tax their mana forever. Oh, no. Yeah. Good to go one ring Galvani Blast. Pretty sick. Nice. Resolves. Things going well. Nice. Just bust. Just bust a move. And it's kind of gas. Yeah, let's just be mana efficient. Solitude, hopefully. In love with solitude. The next label play. The next label play. Do you need to find a way to get rid of my one ring or kill them before? It's a little scary. I guess I should have attacked first. That's kind of bad. Colin here. I have blue cards in hand. Um, you're at 16 and I'm at 7. Just play another ring now, right? Oh, they only have two cards in hand. Say go. Do we get to bust twice in one game? The beanstalk, yeah. Can I even draw? Can't lose, right? Let's bust again. Busting twice in one game. Pretty sweet. Now I get to cast pretty much every spell I hit up their deck to. Just like we drew it. Late game busting. Other options? I think they usually have the last chance thingies. They have the last chance uh, qualifiers and stuff. They're at 12. Okay, just see go. Oracle's really pulling into my deck, yeah. All right, nice, top eight. Oh, one into eight, one. <laughs> Who's track at three? It's Andre, right? I just scoop if it's Andre. I don't think I need it, right? It's for Ghent, right? Invite passes down? Yeah, but I want Andre to qualify. So it's not going to pass down if I beat him. Am I not allowed to scoop? Please play the game. Well, rooting for content. 
I mean, uh, if it was something I didn't, it's someone I didn't really know. I didn't just scoop to anyone. Why don't we play? Because it's Strasky. I'm friends with him. Could play a few. Uh... Ah, okay. Play a bit and I'll scoop. Is this Trotsky? Yeah. Lame? Why a lame? Is there even anyone else I know? I mean, I guess Menunane kind of rooting for him, but... Is that corruption? It's been... Beach Trotsky forced him to actually retire. I'll play until I have to go play Seth, probably, so I can focus on the match. Yeah, Corey, I don't know. I just... I just get all confused. I know it's disappointing for people, and... But plus I, I got the I got the points secured. I mean I don't even do well in these leaderboard things ever. Whatever. I'm not gonna deny him an invite. We literally test together the last uh few tournaments. Yeah. I'll play the deck some more for doing so well. Will's probably fall off, but I'm just streaming return. Daddy's gonna stream his uh his winning in. Uh interesting. Do I have time? <clears throat> what did he pitch? Something bad. Play that, take a hit, go to 16, kill a lamb, go to 12, dash. Kind of wanna Still good if he doesn't have removal. Still bad if he does, is it? Rack stems the bleeding. I guess Rack's bad. My line's bad against Thoughtseize, kind of. But even if he has Thoughtseize, I mean, Boom Bus means any spell and I just win. I can get him a thread if I'm patient. They usually don't play basic mountain. But then it's bad against Bowmaster. And the fable insurance is kind of nice. Oof. Yikes. <laughs> Close. Find this good against beans. Decent because of, uh, oh gods. One lands or potentially free lands. But potentially getting griefed and making him sack his treasure. Do I find this good against beans? The boom bus is pretty good because it's good early and then it's kind of a win condition in the late game sometimes. Am I dead good? What did I do? Oh, you mean the one ring I'm gonna draw? That part. Cleansing gets some off reds. Right? But he gets treasures. I get land number six for Boombas. How many Boombas do I have left? One. Get land number six for the Kicked cards. I guess I'm likely to draw land anyways, and if I don't draw land, I'm pretty happy as well. Mm. <clears throat> Being commandeer proof? Oh, Boomba Spart, you mean? Because I have one ring. 
Commander's pretty good against me. Bolt. Yeah, I only have one more boom. But I have the six mana card that overloads. Dude, I drew three spell pierce in a row. I gotta play Croxaw. I need to go to one ring. Go down to one, I guess. I don't think I can win from one life. Reminder to uh A uh, reminder that the Ultimate Guard Charity Cup is still going on. If you want to check it out, standard top eights. Me against Seth coming up soon. Arna versus Arna versus someone. Daughter semis. Uh, a little late. A tad late. Shrapnel Blast. That doesn't even work. I don't think I have much of a sideboard in this matchup. I think my main deck's just... I guess Relic. Relic and Stone on the play. Brotherhood Sense probably okay too. Maybe even Storm's Wrath. I feel a bit bad about calling you my third favorite MTG streamer last time. If it helps, you are my favorite Hall of Famer streamer smiley face. Appreciate that. Thanks, IK Manny. Uh, what did I cut? What was, what was our plan in this matchup? Did we even have a plan? I think it was our plan was just these indestructible cards that they have a hard time beating, right? They just got spell pierce. They just lost me the game. They deserve to go. <laughs> Easy. All right, chat. I'm going to be done very soon. And I might have to go in a hurry, but appreciate everyone hanging out. And that was, that was always a fun run. To play for fun and then scoop to Andre and wish him best of luck for the rest of the tournament. Yo, Andrew, thanks. And what's today? Sunday. I'll be on this week. I'll be on this week. I won't be on next weekend. Taking the weekend off. Hang out with some friends. Assuming he has to take in Soul Artifact like a thousand percent here. That's not bad. Let's see if I can hit Thoughtsies. Thank you, that was a blast. Happy to have been helpful with... Yeah, that's, that, that game's fun. The game's pretty fun. Towards the end, I'm getting like pretty tired. I've been streaming for a while, nine and a half hours. I'm glad though I fired up the stream. That was that was a good run. People tried the deck and make it better. And then I guess I'm gonna be rating the, the LSV stream. So if you kinda come in and watch, hang out, support the support the good cause, the charity uh the charity event. Content for next podcast too, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Guess I'll use Bolt. Hmm, that was pretty good for him. Might not have the scam. Oh, we're quitting, yeah. Letting Strotsky, uh, take a shot at the invites. Don't want to knock out a friend. Plus, it works out nicely. I can go focus on the 
the top four of the charity event, me against Seth. Yeah, yeah, I told him I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna scoop right away, and then I figured I would play a bit just for fun. Was open and raid is already he's playing scam. I think scam's fine deck. Yeah, he can't take both rings. Hopefully, uh, why are we scooping? Because there's top two gets an invite to the RC and Andre is not qualified yet. And I believe I am. I think I told him I was scooping. I actually don't even, yeah. I mean, it's too late now. I'm not going to tell him. Sorry, bud. Because I have, like, I think I'm qualified for Chicago. Oh, yeah, I know I'm qualified so sh for Chicago. I'm not sure how it works. Maybe I'm not qualified for Ghent, and I can't. I don't even know. Too late. I'll just do well at the PTs. We're qualified for the PT. Yeah, but it's the next one, right? It's the next RC. Whatever. I'm gonna lose anyways, somehow. The shield red too good. Wow, I drew like absolute all worst cards here. Very impressive. Jeez. How did I go downhill so fast? Hundred percent qualified. Well, I'm qualified for Chicago, but again qualifies for the one after that. But I think I'm also qualified. I'm think I'm qualified for the first two, and then I have like Hall of Fame invites. Uh, easy. Too easy for TZ. But I only draw two, I guess. I only draw. Oh, he has that too. Uh, to get in the Hall of Fame. Well, step one is them bringing back the Hall of Fame. That's just dead, right? All right, hope he wins. All right, those cool chats. I'm going to send you over to the main event. The LSV stream, the man who needs no introduction. <laughs>